Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. I know, right? Three videos in a day for me? It's like a record almost. However, you know, I wanted to get the EX, you know, Tempered Edge videos out. One for like the, you know, the Try Hard EX5 and then the more maybe easily accessible EX3, you know, Stacking Water Team. But there has been a few things put into the news uh, over the past couple of days that I just haven't covered because I have honestly not had a lot of time. I've been recording a lot of videos, so I would not have to record for a certain amount of days and give my voice a break. Because <laughs> sometimes I just don't want to record, and sometimes I want to take a day off, and if I have a whole bunch of videos that I can, you know, pick from, then it makes my life easy. Anyways, uh, most people should have already gotten a forced update already. I myself got one at like 5 o'clock, so like two hours ago. Um, it's just to fix some bugs though, so it's it's nothing too major, although this this news thing says it would happen in like another five hours or so, so I don't know if we're gonna get a second update, because uh, this is like a version update, not just like a little content, because that was like 148 megs for me. Version updates generally you have to go like into Google Play Shop and download that, so maybe we get a second update. I don't know what the 148 was. Um, it might have something to do with the rest of this stuff. Mm, looks like they put out a notice about the Koban coin expirations. So they do this a lot of the times towards like the end of each month where they inform you that all of your summon tickets do have an expiration date. All of your free Tempest tickets, your 5 star tickets, your Koban coins, and the tickets you get from the Koban coin shop, they all expire. So please be aware of that, you cannot hoard the Koban coins from the subscriptions for longer than a month, otherwise they will just disappear and you just won't have them anymore. So use them now, or you know, when you're ready to, but honestly, like, if you already received them for this month, you should have probably already used them for one of the three banners that have come out. Uh, also, speaking on that kind of same terms, I've already completed it, but the Speed Specialist Showcase leaves, you know, tomorrow, uh, the final mission to get the last two tickets already dropped, so I've already done my multi. It was trash. I kind of expected to pull a light Shion, but uh, I didn't. I didn't pull anything. I pulled two guard Myers, so excellent. But make sure you do that multi, or whatever tickets you have in before this banner leaves tomorrow, otherwise, otherwise you're just leaving things on the table. Uh, more things in the news, let's check it out. We've got the improvements to Loop Loop in late January. So during the live stream earlier this month or late December, they told us that they're going to change how tower stamina worked. Now normally right now it's one stamina per one tile for any floor whatsoever. And then uh, during the live stream they said that it would now cost more stamina the higher you progressed in tower. So on floor one it's one, one stamina per tile. But floor 50 and above, it's 5 stamina per tile. And, you know, it, it varies depending on, you know, what level of tower you go to. But in order to offset the increased cost of stamina, they're going to give out, you know, multiplicative rewards to make it more worthwhile. Um, looks like that's been pushed back, though. So this says, uh, The adjustments to vitality used and rewards received in each floor in this event, which are originally scheduled for late January, has been posed until postponed until late March, so over almost two months. Uh, they were obviously not ready for that. Uh, you'll be notified of the schedule following this update once it has been decided, so late March being just very generic, we'll find out more later. However, they did also did tell us that they're going to reset the amount of the, um, the purchases you can get for the shards in the shop once, and then add some temporary things into it as well, so double rate tickets, Octogram emblems, platinum hamburger. Oh, sorry, I just ate dinner. Uh, but these will go into effect on the 31st Tuesday or the 30th for me, which is when the next meta will drop. Will be the 30th at 6 p.m. my time, 31st at 2 a.m. UTC for people who are in, in that part of the world. So I'm actually okay with tower stamina being delayed because uh, we didn't know what the rewards were going to be, how it was going to be calced. We just knew that it was going to cost more per floor. So that's something. And then the final thing is that they have added the final pieces into the part three of the 100 Massive campaign. 
uh, we go all the way down, all the way down. Uh, we are getting a 4 million downloads. Hooray! We have hit 4 million downloads. It's not, you know... I think Dokkan is celebrating its 400 million downloads probably this year or something like that. But Dokkan's been around for quite a while. It's a big IP. Our game is not that big. But we're bringing you a special login bonus where you can get up to 10 Tempest tickets. Which, if this, uh, if math serves me correctly, which sometimes it doesn't, but I'm pretty confident that this is quite a bit more than 10 tickets. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking they're either, either this image is just straight up wrong, or they're going to give us this login bonus, which is seven or 10 tickets, plus this login bonus. But I don't know, because this is kind of contradicting each other. Because this is seven days, this is 30 days. It's probably going to be this, so we get, you know, a, a free multi instead of three multis over a month. But this does say 122 to 228, so, you know, maybe we do end up getting four multis worth of tickets. It would make sense for four million downloads, right? It's just kind of weird that it's not set in here between this and that. So that's, you know, whatever. Um, New Year's special is still already going on. We've got that already going on. The protection character valor traits will be added on Monday at 2 AM UTC, so technically Sunday the 29th, so another week and change from now. The chosen protectors will get uh, kind of a nerfed version of what Protector Shuna has as far as her trait, which I think is nerfs alt gauge or something. Like deletes alt gauge if someone has an alt and she comes in. I, I can't remember. I honestly haven't used Protector Shuna in um, Valor Cup, but it's like half of what she would normally do. So, and I also don't remember the units I got it. Oh, see Campaign 67. Okay, well, good there. Uh, we get a 4 million download quest as well. So, clear the quest each day to get 4 star or higher guaranteed tickets times 1 up to 10. Which would be great if you could do a multi with these tickets, but you can't. You can only do singles. So, whatever. And then everything else, you know, challenge quest. All this has already been talked about. It's already happened. Speed battle, octogram gear, uh, this Tempest Harvest. It's already, all this has already happened. So, it is a lot. And they are giving us stuff like... That is, this is still going on for another, like, 10 or 10 or 12 days or so. Oh, well. But that is actually it, I believe, for all the news updates that have come the last couple of days. Please remember to use your tickets. Don't let them expire. Uh, use your Kobon coins. Don't, them, don't let them expire. And, yeah. I expect our new, uh, our new meta to start on the 30th, which is a Monday. So Monday night, the 30th, will be the next meta. Uh, we should get a live stream either Sunday morning or Monday morning, of which that's going to massively suck if it's Monday. I might just take that day off. Um, <laughs> if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. And let's see, there's one more thing. The next time we get a new Extreme Challenge quest is the 27th, or technically the 26th, Thursday which is a week from tomorrow, which kind of feels like an odd time to drop two more stages, but I guess they needed something. Um, I also expect Jubilee will come out probably either when these drop on, two, on Thursday or on Sunday, one of the two days. We'll get Jubilee Catalyst. But yeah, now I'm, I am actually done with all the news. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you all later.